Let's test it. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? How come we don't have power? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The switch is on. What the hell? Ah! And welcome back, everybody. 70s to Die Alpha 17.2, build 27. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we play this game on insane difficulty. The uh, zombies run all the time, day and night, and they are on nightmare speed, and it gets pretty crazy, and we have a good time doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get rolling here. Okay, so we are back at the base. I have finished my inventory management and unloaded the Jeep and all that. And so I'm just going to show you... Uh, a couple of things that we're going to craft here and then we'll cut the camera and we'll go uh, I'll go start working on the base and then I'll bring you back uh, when that when I'm ready to show you the base and the shotgun turrets and probably we'll probably do horde night in this episode too just depending upon how our time goes okay so uh, what we're going to do is we got a total of 200 bones on that little trip that we took which is amazing and so we're going to turn all those bones into uh, glue and so we're going to need to make a bunch of murky water. In fact, uh, we're going to have to make more jars in order to make murky water. So let's take a look here. Do I have sand in here or glass? I got more jars there. Um, but no more glass in there. No glass in there either. So we're going to have... Oh my goodness, okay. We might have to run over to the uh, hoard... Uh, not the hoard. The mine... And get some sand there, because I've got lots of sand in the mine. But let's get that cooking up. And in the meanwhile, we are going to grab this these snowballs. We're going to go up here. No, not up here. Right here. And we're going to make murky, bottled murky water. Uh, we'll need 4 minutes and 18 seconds burn time there. Close enough. Let's get those cooked up, cooking up. Get the snowballs back. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on the murky water with the 42, or on the glue rather, with the 42 that we have. Let's cancel this for now. And we want to go glue. So that'll get 42 going for us. Let's take all these gas cans and we're going to turn them into gas barrels. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to put uh, this stuff away, uh, this back, no, not in there, in here. Uh, something I didn't, I don't think I told you guys. Maybe I did, I don't know. I've actually planted a garden. As a matter of fact, not only did I plant a garden, but I did an episode on me planting a garden. But um, my recording got corrupted. And so, uh, one of the things that we did on our trip is that we got a bunch of stuff for the garden. So I got uh, corn, I got potatoes, and some shrooms. Of course, I already had those shrooms. And we're going to be, we're gonna be planting um, that stuff. So at some point... Probably not until after um, Horde Night is over. Uh, I'll show you, I'll just give you an update on the garden and where it's at with that. Um, I had downloaded a new version of OBS and they had a new um, Infect encoder thingy, uh, you know, for the, if you guys are familiar with OBS, for, you know, NVIDIA card users. And I, I tr used it for a couple of weeks and it was just giving me all kinds of trouble with my recordings. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's been a, a couple times where I might have been cut off too soon because, uh, you know, the audio sync was off and it was just a mess. So I went back to the original um, encoder uh, that I've been using all along and hopefully, you know, things will improve. Uh, this is only my uh, third third recording with the new setting, so time will tell if it actually helps. But anyway, uh, that's, that's why uh, I lost that episode uh, and didn't show it to you. Okay, so we've got... Um, we should have approximately a full stack of shotgun shells for each one of our turrets let's go ahead and make the turrets themselves so we're gonna go over here uh, we're gonna need mechanical parts we're going to need electrical parts maybe springs I don't remember here let's just look it up well I guess when you can look it up right old guy shotgun turret forged steel mechanical parts duct tape scrap polymers and motion sensors smincer smincer sensor we need that I bought some duct tape when I turned in my quest. I didn't get anything special for the quest, just XP gold and some basic stuff that are, you know, essentially resold to him. Okay, so let's see. Shot, gun, turret. 
I want to make four of these. Let's get those crafting up. Now, I got to thinking about something. Uh, I think because I have, because I can, right? Because I've got all the stuff for it. I think I'm going to make a drawbridge. Uh, so I don't have to keep messing around with, you know, picking up and putting down, picking up and putting down uh, frames to get across there. So let's take a look. I don't even know, you know, what level of engineering you have to have to do a drawbridge, but I have maxed out engineering, so it doesn't matter at this point. But we need forged steel, check. We need 1,000 wood, check. We need 20 springs, check. And we need 30 mechanical parts. So we're going to start that in this... Uh, we're going to start that in this smithy, or whatever, workstation, workbench. Um, I'm getting my games mixed up. And uh, I almost wonder, too, nah, I don't think we need one for the horde base. I've got a pretty good way to get, get into my cage there, so we're good. Okay, so we got that cooking up. Um, now it's just really a matter of waiting for the murky water uh, to finish. So I can make more duct tape because I I need I'm out of a lot of stuff like repair kits for example and I need to make some more uh, large first aid kits uh, all kinds of things we need uh, with this duct tape. Let's start with the repair kits. I got a lot of repairing that I need to do. So we need mechanical oil, cloth, and duct. We got lots of oil, uh, cloth, and we have 11 duct tapes currently. Let's actually turn all the rest of these glues into duct tapes, too. And then I'll turn those into repair kits. All right, I think that's about all I wanted to show you. Um, so when I come back, the plan will be that I will have mostly finished... Oh, she must have screamed and we didn't hear it. Uh, that we have mostly finished the uh, the next upgrade to the horde base, which is the addition of shotgun turrets. Let's help our turrets out here. Whoa, shit! I hit the wrong button. Not good. I've got to stop doing that. It's not good for my health. Not good for my health at all. Not good for my health at all. I did not... Sometimes I... Sometimes I inadvertently hit the, you know, the, the W key and move forward when I didn't mean to. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Son of a bitch. All right, let's take one of these. Um, anyway. Okay, yeah, so when I bring you guys back, um, we should be just about ready to start Horde Night, and we'll go from there. Okay, so see you here in a bit. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back here for an update. Uh, so what I've done so far is I have I set up um, a turret right there uh, on the power pole, ran a line over there, and I got some relays up on top, and then uh, a line over to this gun, and the same thing line uh, there over to this gun. Uh, I didn't chain this gun to this one because if this one happens to get damaged, I didn't want that one to go out as well. So a little bit of redundancy. I'm probably going to put some plates. Um, up there to to uh, protect those relays from cop spit. Um, I think I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Uh, but I just wanted to bring you, uh, give you a quick update on what we're going to do over here now. I was going to maybe put the gun here up on a pole, but I think this is a little too close to the building. So I'm going to hold it back here. Plus it gets it a little further out of the way. Uh, of the zombies, so they're not, um, you know, let th they're less likely to mess with it. So let's go ahead and dig down here, and we'll put a rebar in for like a little foundation here. Okay. Um, uh, you know what? I guess I left my poles. I left my poles down in the in the base there. That's okay. We need to we need to make some plates anyhow. So I guess I'm gonna need uh, four sixteen. Actually, let's go up there and look at that really quick. Uh, 
yeah so I got four relays up here so what I'll probably do is just put four around each so we need a total of 16 to protect those um, I suppose theoretically a uh, a spider could get up here and damage them we could cover the top and you know, that's so unlikely that they would do that so I don't think I'll cover the top that way I, I could get to them you know more easily later okay so we need 16 plates made up and we need to grab our poles that we already made I just forgot to get them when I was over here so let's do that and then uh, we'll, get, we'll get this last one built up here it's uh, 1250 so just past noon come on there you go all right so I should have poles in here now um, we're gonna make we want plate wet concrete plate and we want eight there and eight here okay grab that steel because we're gonna need some more and this is just making um, cement we'll top this off Okay, we have everything here. Grab those plates. And back on up. Tonight we're going to mostly use our 9mm ammo and our SMG. Um, I didn't make a bunch of steel ammo for the AK. We might start off with the AK because, uh, you know, early on this one is going to be the most intense. And then we'll switch over to the. Uh, the nine mil. I've been saving my brass ammo for for POIs rather than horde night. Anyway, all right. I tried to think about a way that I could actually put a switch somewhere over here so I could just turn the shotgun turrets off and on, but there really just wasn't a way, a good way for me to do that. I mean. You know, we might be able to attach something to the side of this that I might be able to reach. Hmm, I don't know. Because, I mean, I only have one stack of shotgun shells in each gun, so th that is not going to last the whole night. But it's the early part of the horde night, you know, that's always the most intense anyway. So by the time we run out of shotgun shells, it should be, theoretically anyway, it should be um, calmed down by then. All right, so let's put these here. And if not, I mean, you know, we we did this with zero trouble last time without shotgun turrets, so it's not like they're essential. They're just going to help us keep the sides of the building clear in case some zombies decide they want to try and, uh, you know, break through. Let's put that up one more. Okay, so we'll put the shotgun turret up here. Uh, yep, just like that. And then we got to run a wire over here. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's climb back up here again. Stack of shoddy shells in there. Lock it. Ah, god damn it. We gotta... We gotta power it up first. You must... What? Something's weird. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, power that up. And then uh, maybe point it down just a little bit. Actually, it's 
So pretty good where it is. Uh, and the other thing too is that you know these are going to help cover the roof as well. So if we do get you know spiders or whatever up on top, um, you know the shotguns should be able to, to kill them, and I don't have to worry about them either. I don't want them to do a lot of of shooting back here because I want the zombies coming from this direction, you know, to get into the tunnel here. So, uh, I think this is going to work well, though. I think this is the this is going to make this base uh, it's pretty much to its maximum potential. A little bit of damage there. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. So I will bring you back when Horde Night starts, and we will do Horde 64. And I'm expecting it to go well. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and we're about ready to get started here. So we're going to come down here and get our power turned on. Got a full tank of gas. The switch is on, and we are live for Horde Night 84. Let's hop on over here and get this party started. I'm expecting things to go smoothly tonight. My lighting helmet's all messed up again. Oh yeah, we do have to repair, or not repair, upgrade uh, this one thing here. Uh-oh. All right, that's still waiting uh, to cure. That one took a little longer than the other ones. Okay. So, yeah, we should be live and ready to rock and roll. I don't know why those are crooked again, but that's just really weird. I hope that doesn't affect anything. Um, let's test it. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? How come we don't have power? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What's going on? Something's not working right. This is not good. This is not good. The Jenny's on. The switch is on. What the hell? Ah! I don't understand why it's not working. Oh man, are you kidding me? Well, the shotgun turrets are working. But something's not, something's not working in the um... Something's not working in the, um, with the electric fences and stuff. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, man, that's a big horde. Wait, did I just hear an electric fence go off? It's like the, it's like the wires are all screwed up or something. I don't know. All right, well, let's... This is going to be tricky. Let's stay out here and bring the horde this way. Horde Jeep's getting the shipping out of it. And then what we're going to do is scooch over there and see if we can quickly jump into the cage. So I thought I did hear an electric fence go off. I just don't know why it didn't go off when I was standing over there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Nope, that is not working. 
son of a bitch. Close. That is like super disappointing. It seems to quite get off the ladder so I can see. off the ladder like I did before so I don't know what's changed with that. I have to get a little, a little closer than I would like to to see their heads. It's a damn good thing the shotgun turrets work and I have no idea why the other stuff isn't working. It worked fine the last time I tested it. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Tell you. Thank goodness the shotgun turrets are working well. We'd be in trouble here. Look at all those heads. ammo in this. Okay, okay. Take a look there. Uh, let's do a small bandage here. Come on. No, old guy, not nailed. It. It's a terrible weapon to use on Hard Knight. Cage looking. Really in pretty good shape. Well, that's 
disappointing, man. It really is. I mean, I thought this was going to be the, the master build here. I think it still is. I just got to figure out why the electricity is Something, Something's not right. I just got to figure out what it is for next time. No, don't stick. Like I said, I do think this is a good base design. Just something to make it messed up, so yeah. It's probably just a little wire somewhere that I miss or something stupid. Oh, you know what? I, I know what it is. I know what it is. I set up another switch to shut the fences off. Um, you know, from this side. And I think I forgot to turn that on. That's my stupid mistake. Of course, I figured it probably would be my stupid mistake anyway. It always is. But at least we know what the problem is, though, so we can fix it for next time. Cage seems to be holding up pretty good. Suck it, buzzard. I got another level. That's two levels so far. Shotgun turrets are still going, or some of them are anyway. Take one of these too, I forgot. That'll get us a little more. More oof. Do we need to repair it all? I don't think so. I mean, pretty minimal damage. I wasn't having the problem with that hatch being in my visible range last time though, so I don't know what's different now from before. The shotguns are just going to town, aren't they? I'm surprised they haven't run out of ammo by now. Still coming like crazy. Holy smokes. I need to do a little bit more deliberate with my headshots since I'm getting low on ammo. At this point, I mean, it's just kind of almost just firing with the prey, you know? Alright, let's repair this. Let's take a little, um, actually, yeah, let's take one of these. Alright, let's also do a little bit of repairing. Yeah, see, we're, we're in really good shape. I mean, very small damage. Ah, oh, you know what, though? They did, they did take the steel off the end of that. Look at that. There's nasty zombies. Everything's pretty good. Yeah, that's the only problem with this with this ladder setup is it does. I mean, it's, the steel ladders are stronger than the 
you know, than the iron bars, but in such a confined space here, uh, you get stuck on them all the time. So it's a bit of a pain. But I think it still works pretty good overall. Okay. Back to the heads. Stuck in the, in the uh, patch there. Okay, looks like our shotgun turrets have now expended their ammo. I'm kind of surprised they lasted this long, to be honest with you. There's the timer. The horde is still. Oh, I'm a major horde here, so I'm gonna just keep you guys with me. Let's take a big mini there. It's too bad this frickin' hatch is in my vision, because I can't stand back and shoot very well without seeing what I'm doing. Anybody up top? No. Nope. Here they come again. got going on down here I might raise this up one level I just didn't want it I wanted to put the absolute minimum on this extended cage though because the SI was iffy on it before I did a couple tests with it off camera and it would collapse pretty easily so Zombies. Damn near all these zombies are irradiated. So I need my head explosion thing to proc. Otherwise it's just bullet punches. Let's do a repair. Yeah, that's too bad. I forgot about that switch. That is totally on me. As always. Yeah, but it's disappointing nonetheless. It is what it is, though. The important thing is, is that we survive. get infected but that is not a problem because we've got all kinds of uh, antibiotics back at the base Those spiders are tough sons of bitches man especially irradiated ones all right let's take our last big many pack 
Uh, things have definitely calmed down. You just have trickles now. This thing gets a little glitchy too. Kind of got stuck there for a second. So I think we're just dealing with Spideys now. Oh, yeah. Very minimal damage. Ooh. Actually, no. That plate's definitely taking some damage. The nice thing about the steel, though, is if it does completely break, you know, you still have two more layers reinforcing normal concrete. Well, yeah, right? I think so, yeah. Definitely put some damage on these things too. Alright, let's kill these guys. Let's put these guys out of our misery. <laughs> yeah, it does get a little glitchy, buggy thing going on here. Yeah, that's something. Visually messed up with the tables. Right, we got three levels, you guys. Three levels. That was the, you know, the upside of this, right? The upside of this was I had to do most of the killing, and we got three levels out of the deal. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. 162 rounds left. It's 2.30 in the morning. The game's wigging out, going, what the hell is going on here? I think I might try and risk raising this up, though, because that's just been a pain in the ass all night long. I didn't have that problem before, so I don't know what's different. I made a whole, a whole bunch of uh, large medipacks that are back at the base uh, after we got all the duct tape from the bones that we got from that last trip, so we'll be able to replenish that easily enough. All right, let's see if we can kill this guy this time. Come on, Spidey. Well, we'll be ready next time. I'll have that. I'll have that all turned on. Now, the reason I did that is so I could get in there and make repairs without having to run all the way back over there to turn stuff off. But I just I completely forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> we are out of stamina because why? Uh, probably because we're infected. <laughs> Eat and drink here. Oh, we must have killed that spider. Maybe he, he died on his last fall. Okay, well, I think, uh, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, the switch that I forgot to turn on is this, this one right in here. Now it's working. <laughs> it's a little bit late, but it's working. <coughs> oh, man. I can't take me anywhere. I'll tell you what. But you know what? In spite of the epic fail there. Well, you know what? That wasn't an epic fail. It was just a fail. We survived. We got three levels out of the deal. And, uh... You know, it wasn't a total loss at all. Just hunting for silver linings here. 
So for the next Horde Knight, we will just have to uh, make sure the damn switch is on, and then we should be good to go. Looks like the structure took minimal damage uh, on this side, actually. Let's check it out on all other sides. Yeah, most of that's probably just, like, spit damage. So this won't be bad to repair at all. Very easy to repair. In fact, I'll bet you, I bet you some of that might be from, have been from the shotguns, too. Shotguns worked well. They lasted longer than I expected them to as well. Uh, looks like that one did take a little damage. That one's good. Let's check this one here. That one's good. What about this one here? Don't think that one took any damage either. All right, guys. Well, I think that wraps up the episode. Uh, I do have 30 more minutes of Horde Night, but nothing's going to happen. I'm pretty damn sure nothing's going to happen in the time we have left. That was pretty intense. Um, I'm a little disappointed, again, that um, I had forgotten to throw that switch. But it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a total failure, and we did get some good XP out of the deal. Yeah, see, now they're working. <laughs> and I guess I guess the other good thing is that, you know, we didn't... All of our darts are completely loaded and full for next time, so we don't have to replenish those. Um, so, that's, you know, that's the silver lining. That's what it is. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord. Come and hang out with me on a live stream. I do a live stream several times a week on Twitch, and you can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.